What's going on, y'all? It's the Kid J. Nolan here. Hey, man, we got another copyright infringement case on our hands. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Big Sean are being sued by two upcoming rappers, uh, basically over their song Go Crazy that came out in 2020 on Megan Thee Stallion's Good News Project. So according to court documents that have been obtained by Radar Online, um, Dwayne Payne and Harrell James are suing Meg, Big Sean, Universal Music, and 1501 Certified for copyright infringement. In the suit, Payne's name is uh, Go Hard Major and James is known as H. Matic. The two said that they authored the song Crazy in 2012. The song was posted on the platform Reverb Nation, uh, which is an old school music streaming platform where artists could um, apply for opportunities, try to get on festivals, try to get your music heard on the charts, all of those types of things, man. Uh, Reverb Nation is still around right now. Uh, however, they lost a lot of their usership over the years because people were submitting to a lot of different opportunities and not actually getting access to them. Felt like they were wasting their money on their uh, their uh, pricing. So they've kind of fallen from grace, but they're still around in some capacity. The duo also said that they were passing out CDs around Detroit and uh, they performed it in various clubs. In the suit, it says the copyrighted work is an original work of authorship and is particularly unique as a result of his catchy chorus, a.k.a. Hook, which is the centerpiece of the copyrighted work. Uh, Payne and James said that Meg released her album Good News in November of 2020, which contains her song Go Crazy. So that's the song they're claiming is infringing on their work. The songwriter said Meg's song is a straight up rip from their track. Uh, they said aside from the fact that they share the same title, the choruses are strikingly similar and the wording of the chorus for the two songs are nearly identical um, further they said that the timing along with the melodic sequences are also identical Payne and James also have pointed out the fact that Big Sean is from Detroit and allegedly had access to their work uh, they say the sale of thousands of physical copies of CDs featured the copyrighted work on the streets of West Detroit and the parking lots of hip-hop clubs in West Detroit which are frequented by Big Sean to provide further access of the copyrighted work to the defendant. So they're saying we sold thousands of copies of this record. Uh, we performed it all around Detroit. So just by happenstance, Big Sean had to have come across it at some point because this is where he's from. That's basically what they're saying. Um, in summation, they have no no grounds to say that anyone that they personally know handed him this music or ever was in a studio with him to play him this song to rip it. And I don't know why he would wait eight years to recreate it. But I digress. Let's go further. The suit also says that Meg and Big Sean's song was a huge hit. Upon the release, the infringing work sold reportedly 100,000 units in its first week. And since then, it has gone platinum, which means that it sold at least a million copies. So Payne and James have fired off a cease and desist to the defendants in March of 2022 to put them on notice of the alleged infringement. However, they're claiming that Meg and Big Sean have continued their willful and reckless disregard of the copyrights. All right. So they're being sued for unspecified damages. So the amount of money that they're seeking has not been released to the public. I'll keep y'all updated on anything that happens from here. But now I want to go into the logical side of things here. OK, my original intent in doing this video was to play the two songs or snippets from the two songs and try to get some clarity on the similarities between the two. However, the song Crazy by Go Hard Major and H Matic is no longer available anywhere online. I went searching for it. I even went to Reverb Nation to see uh, Go Hard Major still has a page there. He has music on there that was old as probably eight to 11 years old. However, the song Crazy is not there, so we can't even substantiate any similarities between the two songs because it's since been taken down. I don't know if maybe they took the song down because Big Sean and Megan Thee Stallion put out their record go crazy and maybe it was like intimidating to have a song of a similar title. I don't know if their legal assistance has advised them to take their song down, but I tell you what court they're not going to win in is the court of public opinion. Um, normally in situations like this, if somebody can hear the song and, and, and come to their own conclusion and say, man, these songs are strikingly similar, then you're going to get a lot of people that say, hey, man, why y'all out here stealing folks music? You might actually get some type of traction from the blog, from the media that will help you along the way. This is not the case. Matter of fact. H Matic and Go Hard Major don't really have a lot of music out there, period. Unfortunately, I feel like this is a clout move. I feel like this is a situation where two artists 
put out a song. I'm not going to say that they didn't have a song called Crazy in 2012. I do not think that Big Sean would wait eight years of having a physical copy of a CD that no one can even prove that he ever had and say, you know what? I think this would be great for Megan Thee Stallion. We're going to recreate these Detroit artists song. We're going to jack it. We're not going to give them no credit. We're not going to feature them. We're not going to do nothing. And the reason I say this is because if you look at Big Sean's past couple of albums, he's done nothing but put on other Detroit artists. When you go back to, uh, Eminem's album, The Shady, whatever that was that Big Sean was on. He made sure when they did uh, Detroit vs. Everybody, Royce the 5'9 and Big Sean made sure that the people from Detroit made it on that record. You're not going to tell me that his character has has all of a sudden changed that much to where he has to go rip people's songs. Ask Babyface Ray about Big Sean. Ask Fo 2 Doug about Big Sean. These are guys that can clearly co-sign for him because they've been featured. And to be honest, he's featured some of these local Detroit artists to the detriment of his own albums because I really can't say that I like their verses on there, but it don't matter. He's putting on for his city and that's how he's been repping. So it doesn't make no sense to me that these two dudes would have gotten ripped without being properly credited or properly shouted out. It just doesn't seem to align. For anybody that's watched any of my videos on my channel, y'all know that I'm pro artist, pro songwriter to my core. So it really irritates me when people try to take advantage of this copyright infringement thing there's a lot of artists that have been trying to capitalize on this for the past couple of years because it puts their name in the news it puts their name on publications that they otherwise would never get mentioned on and i guess they feel like they can try to make some type of traction for themselves off of it it doesn't really help you because people don't really hear your record people don't really go looking for the record if it's not legit if your claim is false and your claim is willfully false, nobody gives you any credibility. So you just go back to your neighborhood, you go back to your house and then you go back to square one. It doesn't make any sense. Hopefully this song that they originally put out called Crazy does resurface online at some point. So now that it's on all of these different blogs and these Instagram pages, people will actually go look for it and maybe find it. Y'all might gain some new fans, but y'all are not doing yourself any service by not having it available. You know what I'm saying? I actually took some time out to listen to another record that they put out around the same time. And the first thing that I noticed was the lack in audio quality. So I couldn't even sit through the record. You know what I mean? Uh, but I will say for a song called Crazy or Go Crazy, um, I'm not going to be surprised that there's a bunch of artists that have similar hooks for a song called Go Crazy. I'm just going to be honest. And I talked to my homie as chief about this before, where we talk about how artists go and make some of the most simple hooks, some of the most simple lyrics ever. And then when somebody else thinks of the same thing, you go and say, oh, they took my idea. They took my no, nobody ever heard your idea. Y'all just happen to think the same thing because it was just that easy to make. You know, if you go out and make something strikingly unique, something that just is nothing like anything heard in the industry, and then somebody goes and takes it, you know that they had to be swerving in your lane. However, I don't see that one for this one. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, because I want to hear from music fans. I want to hear from, you know, if there's any um, law professionals out there that are, that are going around watching this video, share this like this, you know what I'm saying? The whole nine, cause I want to have a conversation about it. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for all post notifications, because you're not going to want to miss all this music and entertainment news. All right. But I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Much love and respect. Peace.